We'll do most anything for our kids, right? Like you, I was cookie mom, hockey, cheer, soccer, and so on. But fitting those activity fees into our family budgets gets pricey. Denver 7's Adam Hammond introduces us to one man trying to change that so every child has a chance to play. La pelota en el piso, el balón en el piso. Neil Alvarado's first memories are of soccer. Se levanta la cabeza. It's a refuge for Neil and has been since his family immigrated to inner city Los Angeles from South America when he was just a little boy. Soccer was a language that I could speak regardless of who I was with. This ball kept him out of trouble and taught him life skills that would bring him success later in life. I've been blessed. Um, I'm the first in my family to graduate from, from, a col from college. I'm living the American dream today. And the, 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 the least I can do is, is give back to the community. Neil wants to give back because his experience is now out of reach for many American children. The cost of sports have gone considerably high, but it's creating a gap between uh, kids that have the passion but don't have the funds. Neil started wondering what he could do to shrink that gap between rich and poor here in Denver. So he applied for a million dollar grant from the Sprout Foundation, which he used to help build this indoor soccer facility. I want to make sure that these kids know that there are people that are fighting for them here in America today that are standing on their behalf. Kids here in Southwest Denver can pay a dollar or two to come out here and play each day. And Neil thinks that small fee is important because it teaches them nothing's free and someone else had to give so they can play. Midfield is my favorite position. Carlos Gonzalez says playing with Skyline teaches him a lot about teamwork and setting goals. Coach always tells us that if we don't have good grades, we don't get to play soccer. For Carlos's mother, this field is truly that refuge Neil hoped it would be. He plays like it's his life, so it's really something, number one thing for him right now. This program is made up of the affluent, immigrants, and even refugees. But on this grass, everyone's the same. Neil says he hopes these boys and girls leave this gym inspired for decades to come. The string that is attached is I want these kids to be able to give back the way others have given to them. Adam Hammond for Denver 7. Wow, what a beautiful facility. The gym is in Denver's Ruby Hill. It opens next Thursday. They still have a little more fundraising to go before it's all paid off. Great program.